Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here, and today for you guys in the video of Black Clover Mobile. Inside today's video, guys, we are going to be doing my Julius guide here for at least the kit I'm using, and pretty much how you guys can build him. Now, of course, this character has been out for a while, but of course, I'm going to be going over skill overviews, skill priorities, best grimoires, gear sets, duplings, and what they do, of course, talents and such like that, but mainly just going to be really expanding on the gear set part of things so you guys know exactly how to get your Julius looking like mine here. So just as the title states here, we have a Julius who is now 82k actually, not 81, but um, 82k here and boy did it take me a little bit to get this man built. He's not even fully done, I'm just too broke on gold currently to get him any further. But um, let's, let's just go ahead and go into the guy's skill overview here. First things first, when it comes to the skill overview, for you guys who have not seen the prior um, Julius guide I do have here, pretty much what his skills we have is level 1 here, which is able to inflict, of course, reduce mobility, does very, a lot of damage, not even very much, I keep saying, but a ton of damage here for a basic attack here, and it's really, really nice because it also increases his mobility. As for the skill 2 here, it's very, very helpful because then you get that nice increased speed. It has a chance of doing time stop. And of course, if you do have his card here, you're able to get that extra mobility depletion as well as reduce mobility with that card. Really does make him very useful, though currently with the current meta that we are dealing with sometimes, it is kind of annoying because this is qualified as a debuff. And so it's easy to get blocked. So truly do know that. Now, when it comes down to his special skill, of course, his special skill does a dummy amount of damage. When you kill a person, you actually even get an extra hit, of course, here. But he's able to stun and reduce mobility. So that's absolutely amazing when it does come down to this character. And um, I definitely got to say, really does the trick no matter what you're doing here. All right, now his combined attack is probably one of the most important ones here because you are going to be using this man with William here in which this is your one tap central. You wanna get this up to five no matter what here and it absolutely is a godsend, promise you that. Now going over the skill priority, I do believe when it comes down to skill priorities here, go with the ultimate being the first one, seeing you definitely are gonna be nuking with that quite often. Then of course the skill two, then you can either decide to do the combined ultimate as the third one or either use the basic attack as the third one. Personally for me, I do use the basic attack a decent bit, but the combined ult is definitely going to be way more worth it, seeing you will be using this man with William a lot. So definitely for skill priority, one, two, three, and four. But um, with that being stated, let's go to the man's best grimoires. Now, without a doubt, best grimoire is definitely going to be his own grimoire here, of course. Nothing too crazy about that we already know, so I'm not going to stay on this topic for too, too long here. But um, seeing that this is his best grimoire, there are some other options that you possibly could be using here. And that comes down to either Breath of Darkness, especially if you want something that's similar to the Olive tag that he actually offers on his card here. Um, Breath of Darkness does work very well. Now, of course, if you do want a different skill card that you can possibly use, Fauna's skill card is really, really good for this. Um, it also does all attack as well. So that is really, really nice to go ahead and use as well. Now, of course, if you don't have either one of those, you could go a little bit on the SR side of things, but you're not really gonna be finding many SR side of things that do fully work for this character. I mean, there are a few that's pretty decent, but I mean, like, eh, you kinda wanna stick to just either using the free-to-play SR page that we got, or using Faunas if you have the choice to do so. But all right, so now we've gotten out of the grimoire set of things. Now let's get to the part that you all really have been dying for. You guys have been wanting to see the gear set, so I made it quick to just get straight to the gear set for the most part here. And um, I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over his gear set. And um, there's no need to really go over dupings. I'll probably show you guys my talents as well here. But um, if we go ahead and look at his gear set, this is the gear set we're running. We're doing attack, speed, and crit damage here. And we're being very, very, uh, I guess you could say meticulous with the things that we are getting on this character. Now, majority of his um, things are transcended. We are missing, as you can see, two of these pieces not being fully transcended. So he can easily hit past 70 um, M attack here, which is absolutely amazing. 
Um, some of you guys didn't see the accessories that I'm wearing, so we are using a crit damage accessory here. We're using a M attack accessory, which is only available if you complete the mileage or if you get stupid lucky out of limited dungeon. Some people have gotten dummy lucky out of limited dungeon. I don't know how they freaking do it. I'm being honest with you. Um, the only option I see if you want this is quite literally completing that mileage. Um, so this this is gonna be something that free to plays. I'm gonna be honest with you, buddies. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be possible unless you can get stupid lucky with this because I don't even know if these come to the boxes later on. But um, the other piece that we do have as well is a crit rate a ring here, giving us a little bit more crit rate here. Um, I wish I could actually re-roll this a little bit because I do want more accuracy on this character to make him really good. Now, um, before we go ahead and get to clicking on my gear for the most part here, let's take a look at the stats on the side here. We have 69 M attack here with 121 crit rate, 66% crit damage, and then the rest is going into mainly our accuracy here. Now, some people looked at the crit damage. But Blade, he's not gonna crit more. No, 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 no. Or crit for the highest that he can get. Okay, let's get this straight, right? This character is built off of crit rate. He is really built off of crit rate. First of all, we already have a set on that gives us that extra amount of crit damage anyways. So if we take a look at this, we get 7% more crit damage. So technically we're at 72%, first of all. Um, two, I want to like to um, actually offer you guys this here as well is with the things that we do have on this character here, he is still able to hit crazy amounts of different just numbers when it comes down to at least what he's doing here. Um, although his crit damage is a little lower side, this guy makes no problem hitting 500k or above, especially when he can and most of his damage is not getting blocked. Now, the way to get rid of that damage, of course, from being blocked is by getting your accuracy up. That is what this skill for, so you don't get a lot of your damage blocked off here, and you can hit the pinnacle of your damage that you need to do. Um, currently, my accuracy is low. I definitely want to get it a lot higher to make sure he hits this, of course, a lot easier and consistently, but um, that is how you really get up that damage. All right, so enough yapping here. When it comes down to my character's um, actual stats here, I am aiming mainly for M attack, crit rate, um, and mainly just more crit rate. This attack just happened to sneak on here and which is not needed for him, to be honest. I would have liked to have a base M attack stat or something like that of the sort, but um, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is A, that's A, and I'm not re-rolling this piece because it's really, really freaking good. So um, we're just not gonna mess with it. Now, when it comes down to this one, we have mainly all A's on this one, giving us a nice crit res uh, piece as well. Crit rate, M attack, another M attack one down here, and damage resistance, which is really, really good. Immediately giving me that damage that I need. When it comes down to at least his defense here, we are looking at a few things as well. Um, getting a defense stat, which is kind of meh, but it's there. It's decent for CC boosting as well. Um, we got crit res, we got accuracy, which is definitely very much so needed. Um, another crit rate here and then M attack as well. Coming down to this one, we do have crit rate, damage res, magic attack, and magic attack percentage. Um, this is one actually I still need to reroll, but I don't have any of the protective rerollers. So currently this is just gonna have to stay here how it is. But um, once I do have protective reroller, I want to try to reroll this to get at least an A tier crit rate stat here, A tier or above to at least pair with the S um, M attack here as well. And I do need to reroll this stat down here to get us accuracy or uh, get us more uh, magic attack. I haven't really decided. I think accuracy might be the better choice. So that's probably what we're gonna go with. Lastly, when it does come down to at least uh, this here, I would definitely like to get magic attack here up of course and then on the bottom piece because i did not know that you were this was like my first transcendent piece here and um i did not know this was able to be re-rolled now that i know this this is definitely going to be rolled and we're going to be trying to get a better m attack piece as well to get this even higher than what it is here um i think that would be a really really good choice for us especially if we can and then once we do get a red piece here i would definitely like to lock both of these and re-roll this to try and get some better stats but this is what we're dealing with or of course our last two stats nothing too crazy we have a b ranked uh, crit rate here which was pretty high rating to be honest for a 
B because I think it yeah it started like I think at four percent for the most part. So I just decided forget it. We ain't gonna re-roll it for now. It is what it is. We'll keep it how it is, and this is what we came up with. So we have at least the magic attack looking really, really nice. We also have that crit rate, which is absolutely amazing. And then on the last piece here, we have another one that I ended up keeping as a B rank here currently, due to not having, of course, those locked stones, in which we have M attack, crit rate, M attack, and attack. Um, I will be re-rolling this when, of course, I get more stones, but um, currently this is what we are dealing with. So this man does perform like absolutely amazing. He's absolutely crazy in which I will actually be having another video out, of course, showcasing more of this character um, later on today when he does um, act in PVP. So surely do look forward to that. We are definitely going to be doing that fairly, fairly soon. But um, for you guys who just wanted to know the build, this, this is pretty much how we rock, bro. This is what we're using. We got the crit damage up here. Um, we have, of course, this looking good down here, and um, we're slowly getting him to become a little bit perfect in the way that I do like this character. But, um, of course, this is how I build my character. You can build him differently, but it's going to take a lot of resources. Um, for some of you guys, this is not going to be stupid obtainable right now because um, it does take some decent bit of money, and um, it is, it's a very... Uh, difficult to get this up here and i'm not even perfect yet so you guys let me know if you are interested in the build do you like it do you think there's some things that should be changed let me know down below i don't mind hearing it but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it for the most part i didn't go over like the dupes that i normally would go over but i think i went over everything else um i'm pretty sure i went over everything else for at least that i'm going over for at least my build guides um, when it comes down to mainly just seeing how I'm building the character, that's probably how the layout's going to be. So look forward to that, of course. But anyways, talk to you guys soon and peace out.